We find ourselves in Las Vegas in 2016 at the Evolution Championship Series. This is the Super Bowl of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Chris G is looking for his first and much anticipated EVO win, but an up and coming Deadpool player has other plans. Cool Kevin is a Midwest player that plays with a unique style and team. Much like Chris G, he plays a strong zoning and keep boy game. He utilizes Hawkeye, Dante, and Deadpool to make it extremely difficult for his opponents to start their offense. Hawkeye has amazing tools to help keep their opponents away, utilizing his arrows to chip out opponents and cover all areas of the screen. His piercing arrow has enough durability to destroy most fireballs, including Morgan fireballs. He also has two amazing super moves with Super Scatter Shot, which can clear the screen of projectiles and push opponents away, and Gimlet, an extremely fast super move that can punish most moves in the game on reaction. Dante is mainly used for his assist, Jam Session, which can be used offensively and defensively. It takes up a large portion of the screen while also lasting a very long time. It can be used to clear fireballs and projectiles in front of it, and also be used to reach high into the air, sometimes catching opponents when they least expect it. Deadpool is a unique character that can mix up his opponents with great keep away tools, teleports, and fast moving special moves. His guns and grenade are very strong and cover important parts of the screen. The grenade can be used to threaten opponents and stop them from comboing him as well, as it has a small delay before it explodes. He has quick special moves that help him in the mix-up game, putting him low to the ground and forcing opponents to have to guess when they are in the air when it's just a cult. And finally, he has one of the best teleports in the game when it works. You have two charges of teleport before you must recharge the teleport. On the third use, it explodes and knocks you down, allowing opponents a free combo if they are close enough. What makes this teleport so good though, is you can use it during special moves to cancel them early and continue the pressure or stay safe. Using this mechanic, and a mechanic called Alpha Counter, where you spend a bar meter while blocking to tag in another character, Deadpool can teleport out of it early, making it much safer than most other characters. Chris G is using his extremely optimized team of Morgan, Doom, and Virgil. He is having an amazing season and is primed to take his first Evo. With Morgan, Chris G wants to enter Astral Vision as often as possible. Spending one bar meter, he creates a clone of Morgan who will copy all of his moves. This is the bread and butter of the team, and is what allows the immense fireball lockdown that he's known for. It is incredibly difficult to do though, as it requires multiple inputs per fireball to perform correctly. Doom amplifies the fireball lockdown by using his missile assist. These missiles track the opponent and lock them down for an extended period of time. It has a long startup time to get all the missiles out, but using Morgan's fireballs is very safe to use as often as possible. Virgil rounds out the team and is the insurance. He is the best X-Factor user in the game and has made many infamous comebacks just by himself across the game's history. One of the major tools that makes him so strong though is his sword super move. When he activates swords, a belt of swords circles around him that causes damage and interrupts players constantly. Combined with his teleport, he can become very difficult to block and negate most characters' tools. Game 1 starts and both players retreat to their sides of the screen to start their game plan. Will Kevin sprays bolts against Chris G. Chris G is able to find the space to get an Astral Vision off. Will Kevin has to be patient as he can't fire any of his arrows while Astral Vision is out as he will just get hit. He's able to drain the time off of Astral Vision and defend against the now aggressive Chris G. Using Jam Session and more arrows, he's able to clear Morgan fireballs to protect himself. He lands a great piercing arrow to stop Doom from shooting more missiles, but Chris G answers with an Astral Vision activation. Cool Kevin is ready for this though, and he punishes with a super into a delayed hyper combo to switch into Dante, but he drops the combo, allowing Morgan to escape. He decides to reset the neutral game and goes to the top of the screen to rain down lasers and wait out the Astral Vision time. With both characters low on resources, Chris G gets aggressive. He's able to push through Dual Kevin's projectiles and work him into the corner. Having the corner is extremely important as it reduces the amount of space Dual Kevin can use to zone out Morgan. Dual Kevin shows his amazing defense defense and counter calls Doom missiles with Deadpool. With Morgan and Doom low, Chris G decides to use this time to swap in Virgil. Both players clash, and Chris G activates swords. He puts intense pressure on Dante, but he can't break the defense. Dual Kevin then alpha counters to swap in Deadpool and teleports back. This small teleport puts him just outside of Virgil's medium attack range, and Chris G can't punish. He then uses a combination of his guns and grenade to change up his approach, forcing Chris G to eat multiple mix-ups. He attempts an overhead, but Chris G smartly blocks it. Not wanting to deal with any more mix-ups, Chris G activates swords, protecting him and starting his offense. He teleports onto Deadpool and catches him. He lands the side TAC, but drops the combo. Cool Kevin quickly reacts, landing a full combo onto Doom and getting a great incoming mix-up opportunity. Handed Dual Kevin, Dr. Doom, on a silver platter, and now Doom is down. That was a bad look, bad drop. But messes up the timing, allowing Virgil to immediately hit Dante. Chris G then activates swords again and teleports, catching Dual Kevin. He converts it into a combo and uses his X-Factor to take care of Deadpool. Virgil, known for his insane incoming mix-ups, throws his round trip. Dual Kevin is able to block and uses Gimlet and X-Factor to get out of a tough situation. For example, X-Factor. Good block. Yes. 
Kushid then uses the last of his meter to activate swords one more time. He attempts to open Hawkeye up, but can't quite do it as his X-Factor and swords run out. With no aerial movement and no resources, Virgil has to eat the insane amount of chip damage that Dual Kevin is able to put out. Is this character... Dual Kevin is doing amazing right now. Yeah. Uh! He eventually falls and it's all up to Morgan. With no meter and no time, it's an absurdly large hill to climb. Kushi aggressively attacks, opening up Hawkeye. All right, as long as he don't call assist, as long as he don't call assist, he should win this. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think Chris got time for this. He had to go for a reset. That smart move there by Chris. But well, there just isn't enough time on the clock as it ticks down to zero, giving Dual Kevin game one. One. It's getting crazy. The crowd is pleased, and that's the most important thing. Game two starts out, and Chris G is much more aggressive off the start. Dual Kevin attempts to dodge as many fireballs as he can, but Chris G strategically advances. Once close enough, Chris G forces Dual Kevin to guess and actually catches him briefly with the shell kit. Hawkeye tries to push Chris G away and falls into a missile and fireball for his trouble. Hawkeye uses a super scatter shot to force Morgan back and start his offense. He actually jumps over Morgan to gain as much stage advantage as he can. Dual Kevin hunts for a hit with piercing bolts and jam session to clear out fireballs. Awareness. Yeah, very deliberate with what he's going for. He knows what's going on. His reactions are great. But with Morgan closing in again, he decides to alpha counter and teleport with Deadpool to escape. Chris G reacts quickly and forces Deadpool to fall into more fireballs and missiles, chipping him down. Eventually, Dual Kevin escapes the onslaught and puts down a grenade off screen. The grenade explodes. The change of pace that Chris G needed right now. Oh, he's still got to confirm though. Jam wow. session. Catching Morgan as Dante comes in and allows the conversion. He snaps in Virgil and attempts a sneaky incoming mix-up where he slides under the opponent as Jam Session comes out, but Christy blocks it. Much like last game, Christy activates swords with Virgil as Dual Kevin doesn't have a strong answer to it, while Hawkeye arrows were already coming out and hit Christy out of the activation. Dual Kevin shows immense patience as he waits for a gap in Virgil's offense. He catches Virgil, but heard the missiles come in from off screen and casually moonwalks away from them. Wait, but he moonwalks away. right away from the missile. <laughs> the swag here. This allows Chris G the space to activate swords and start his offense again, though. Utilizing Doom missiles in Virgil's round trip, he puts out an immense amount of chip damage. With no more resources for Chris G, Dual Kevin gets his turn again. Virgil struggles without any super meter, and Dual Kevin capitalizes on this. He continues to run away and actually catches Morgan as she gets tagged in. With Virgil weak and Morgan in a combo, Dual Kevin uses his X Factor to secure the kill on Morgan. I like what I'm seeing here. Now, what's the mix up? And he's bringing the mid screen. Perfect yeah. position here from Dual Kevin. On Doom's incoming, he again does the sneaky mix up and catches Chris G. But with the damage scaling, goes for a TAC. It's blocked, and Chris G lands safely. He waits for the assist call from Dual Kevin and then punishes it with Super. He switches into Virgil and calls Doom missiles, forcing Dual Kevin into a similar mix up that he used on him. Or it says, oh, but. Deadpool falls out of it. He probably was looking for Oh, us. sneak this way right on the found the opening. He got him. Dual Kevin attempts to block, but Virgil slides under him at the last second, catching him and killing him. Cross under. So sneaky. So fast. Found it again. That door was wide open. Dual Kevin leaving the door wide open. Again, Virgil goes for an incoming mix up, but Dual Kevin blocks this time. Your left. He's been doing great on the defensive side this whole time. Oh. They trade a couple of hits, and the stream cuts out. We have a dramatic reenactment of what happened after. The crowd is on its feet for game three. But only an Look at this crowd. This is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Look at all the beautiful Go. people. Beautiful people. Both players retreat to their side of the screen and Chris G is able to get an astral vision off. But Dual Kevin does an amazing job of dodging the fireballs and clipping Morgan as she throws more. Really keeping up with each other. Morgan, I, think, I, think he's, I think he's gonna start busting out the, the piercing bolts in a minute, especially yep, if he got the lead. Is. Yep, there it is. Instead of attempting to zone Dual Kevin, Christy swaps in Virgil and pushes quickly to hit Hawkeye and kill him. She already see what the problem oh, is. Oh, what a confirm. I think he's gonna miss, he's gonna miss. No, right on time. Will Kevin again utilizes his amazing defense to stop Virgil's onslaught. Fuck, oh my God. <laughs> Dual Kevin works so good right now. Jesus. He's eventually able to find the gap he needs, where he catches both characters and does Dante's super. With missiles coming in, he swaps to Deadpool and attempts to catch both characters with X-Factor, but Doom falls out. Importantly though, he kills Virgil. Christy does an amazing block as Deadpool slides under him and he immediately takes to the skies. As he falls, Deadpool is waiting for him though, and he catches his feet. Get more enjoyable, but oh, no. oh, Kevin, yeah, getting his toes. With just Morgan left, he now has to block another incoming mix-up from Deadpool. Brings him to mid-screen. He gets hit, but Dual Kevin drops the combo. Oh, Lordy, 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 Lord. They scramble as Morgan goes into X-Factor. Knowing his only way to get back into the game is getting hit by Morgan, Dual Kevin jumps to the top of the screen and attempts to burn as much of the X-Factor time as possible. Turn down, waste some of everything. As he flies around with Dante, he actually gets a hit on Chris G in combos, 
Obviously, he has that freedom to stay in the air now, using the Psycho Crusher twice, getting right back into Chris G's face, not afraid at all. But doesn't have enough meter to kill. With plenty of time on the clock, Morgan activates her Astral Vision and slowly inches towards Dante. Cool Kevin's defense prevails again as he pushes her off and gets her within an inch of her life. He finally cracks though as he gets hit with a fireball. Chris G converts into huge damage and kills Dante. Morgan continues the pressure as Deadpool comes in, chipping him down and forcing him to block. Later and he's gone? I don't know, he could chip him over. As long as Dual Kevin makes him block, he could get the win easily. Chris G attempts to get a hit, but Dual Kevin is able to use his teleport and guns to finally catch Morgan and take the game. Damn, all these bullets! Dual Kevin! Oh, we have a Kevin chant in the crowd right now! The crowd is erupting at this point. Kevin chants ringing through the air. Little Kevin is one game away from making history. Game 4 starts similar to the last one. Both characters wanting to start their game plan. Chris G is on a mission though, and uses his fireballs to work close to Duel Kevin and pushes him to the corner. Missiles rain down from above. That quick lead off, but Duel Kevin is holding to all his resources. Alright, here comes the message. Chris G can't convert due to combo scaling, and Duel Kevin uses his opportunity to jump towards Morgan. He catches her with a throw and combos into a TAC. But Christie blocks the TAC again. Christie answers back with his own throw, which guarantees the Astral Vision activation. As Hawkeye gets closer and closer to death, Will Kevin decides to swap him out by using Super Scatter Shot to clear the fireballs and enter Devil Trigger with Dante. He's gonna find his opening right here, Super Scatter Shot. There it is. Devil Trigger, good choice. Mm -hmm. Will Kevin then uses his projectiles and movement to try and hit Morgan, but can't quite find an opening. Both players retreat and use projectiles, hoping for a hit. They continue to scrap until Christie attempts to hard tag into Virgil but gets hit by Dante. Knowing how impactful Virgil is, Dual Kevin uses his X-Factor to continue the combo and guarantee the kill. He swaps back into Hawkeye as Doom struggles in the matchup. This forces Chris G to use his resources to swap back into Morgan. For the bad matchup. Yeah, the bad matchup has arrived. Chris G retreats to the skies as he tries to throw a fireball, but Jam Session is waiting for him. Dual Kevin does an insane combo conversion off of it and puts Morgan on life support. Chris G immediately pops X-Factor and goes in. Dual Kevin uses every tool in his arsenal to defend against the onslaught. Definitely he has did. Dual Gotta Kevin. keep this shell alive. Let's see what happens here. Okay, that's a hit. hit. Trade off. No, good awareness there by Chris G. Yep. X-Factor's almost done, but Chris Dual Kevin with the substantial lead. He's able to survive the X-Factor time, but at the cost of Hawkeye. Time is ticking down now, and Dante attempts to escape. But Morgan chases him down and does an optimized combo and attempts to reset Dante, but is unsuccessful. Out, but Christy is closing this life lead up. They continue to scrap as Astral Vision comes out again. He catches Dante and kills him as he bounces off the fireballs. As the clock ticks down, Will Kevin jumps back and tries to time out Morgan, but Morgan catches him. Lord. Push Lordy Lord. for his life to get Morgan away no, from him. No, that's a punish. That's oh, a punish. That's a he's punish. Over. Dual Ooh. Kevin makes it! He Dual makes it to top eight winner! But Chris G can't do enough damage, and Dual Kevin takes the set. This is the first time a Deadpool has made top eight at Evo, and the crowd is erupting. Dual Kevin showing up. Midwest is in the top eight. Midwest is in this top Midwest eight. Midwest doing some serious damage. The Kevin chants ring out, and his friends maul him. Dual Kevin showed his amazing defense and beat Chris G at his own game. His unique team and playstyle prevailed, and you'll go down in Marvel history as the best Deadpool to ever play the game. If you enjoy this content, hit the subscribe button below. Let me know what character you enjoy watching the most in Marvel 3. Until next time.